also recently I adopted three harvest mice and they are the cutest, tiniest little beings to ever exist. And pretty much as soon as I put them into their enclosure, which is a 60 by 45 by 45 centimeter exoterra, I was like, nope, you deserve the world, you deserve something a lot taller. So I've been looking on selling sites for other exoterras because your girl does not pay full price when you can get one for under £100 but still in good condition. So I found one and today we're going to be setting it up. So they've been here for about a week now and I thought I'd give you an update on how they're doing. I totally forgot to tell you the size of this Exoterra and if you can't tell, it's a 60 by 60 by 45 centimeter. You can get ones that are 90 centimeters tall and some people do use those with the harvest mice. I think that's a great option if you have the space, but 
that would literally be hitting my ceiling so I think they're great but this one is working well for just three of them and they're utilizing every single inch of space. So this is how it's looking, they are incredibly messy when it comes to their food, they get it everywhere and their water bowl, this is how it looks after just a day, I have to change this every day obviously but they poop in this, they drop seeds in this, that is probably the messiest part about them so I am going to change that in a second but I just thought I'd show you the reality of how messy they make their water bowl and this entire area, they just get it everywhere. <laughs> I did have some comments on my previous video where I showed getting the mice, people were concerned this bowl was too deep and they would drown in this much water and I did try them with a much more shallow bowl but because it is quite warm in here that was evaporating so so quick and I didn't want to risk them not having water so this one has been fine so far and they are fairly intelligent and I do reckon if they did go in this I don't fill it all the way up they probably wouldn't drown so that has been fine so far and I've also got them a tiny, tiny water bottle, which I'm going to attach here at some point, just waiting for more industrial Velcro to arrive, because I've got this side, the soft side, but nothing to actually stick it on with. So when that arrives, that will probably go somewhere there. But other than that, they have been really enjoying the space and the new enclosure. The soil itself is going to need turning every so often and water adding occasionally, but in theory, shouldn't ever need changing because it is technically bioactive, so I have bought some more springtails to put in, and I have been toying with the idea of putting in another form of cleanup crew. Probably not isopods because they do multiply very quickly, and they are quite annoying, so I was considering possibly darkling beetles that are the end result of mealworms, but I wasn't too sure if they would be a bit too big for the harvest mice and possibly pose a risk, so I'm going to have a think. But for now the springtails seem to be doing an okay job. So I have had some questions about whether they actually use the wheel and if they can push it or not and even though it is an 8 inch wheel as you can see they have been using it and peeing on it and they love this, they go so so fast. I don't have many clips of them actually using it because anytime I open it up to film they either run away or run to the front to see what I've got so they do use this, they love this and it's a great addition. I'd say the only thing that I would change or add in was to fill this gap at the back. Obviously the background is nice to look at but mice like things to be cluttered and busy and this does look a bit odd because there's so many other things and not really much in this gap at the back. So I was thinking that it's like a rope ladder hanging thing that I sell in my store. I'll put a picture on screen but that would fill this gap really nicely so I think in a couple of days I will purchase that off myself and put it in this gap. But yeah, the mice are doing good. You've probably noticed they look a bit scraggly, some more than others, and that is because of mites. I did treat them for mites recently before putting them into this enclosure, and that is something that a lot of mouse owners, harvest mouse owners, seem to struggle with because they are so small, and most mite treatments on the market for mice, you can't use because they are tiny. So that has been a bit of a struggle, but Hopefully their fur should start to grow back soon and they won't look like tiny little werewolves. So that is my harvest mice's, mouse's, my new harvest mouse enclosure. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and seeing more of the harvest mice because they will make anyone's day infinitely better. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!